everyone, this is John Cook at GeekWire. We are in front of Safeco Field, obviously, and Home Plate Center, which is the new home of Real Networks. And we're going to go in and talk to Rob Glazer here today and find out a little bit more about the new office space and what Real Networks is up to. So come along inside and let's check it out. So this is John Cook. I'm here with uh, Rob Glazer, the founder and interim CEO of Real Networks. And we're getting a tour of the new office place here at Home Plate Center right in the stadium district, obviously. Rob, show us around. Tell us this beautiful backdrop. What are we looking at here? Well, it's great to, great to see you, John. So what we're looking here, we're on the sixth floor, which is our the top floor of the building, uh, and we're looking out at uh, downtown Seattle from the south. So you see here all of the, the great uh, office buildings. Uh, of course, right across the street, we've got uh, Safeco Field. We're actually on the corner of Dave Niehaus and Edgar Martinez. Uh, so if, whenever somebody wants to come to Real, just tell them that that's the intersection you go to. And of course, they'll have to look up their baseball history if they're not from Seattle to know just how important those two names are. And then so we've got it right in front of, of Safeco. We've got uh, CenturyLink right up there and then the, the rest of downtown. So it's phenomenal. And then to the west, you've got uh, Puget Sound. We've got these cranes, these very anthropomorphic looking cranes uh, looking out, uh, doing their, their uh, massive amount of shipping that we see the uh, all the containers stacked up there uh, and it's just a phenomenal uh, uh, sort of panoramic view into Seattle. So what yeah, does this are... location mean to you? You had been rooted obviously in Belltown and near the Sculpture Garden for so many years. Uh, tell us a little bit about just that transition and where Real Networks is right now and what you're trying to achieve in the near future here. Well, uh, the move uh, is something that we're super excited about, but I want to put it in context. I mean, I, I've been back uh, running real a little less than a year and a half now. When I, I first came back, a lot of people asked me if we're going to move. And I said, well, uh, you know, we got a, uh, at the time we had a couple years left in our lease. So I said, we're going to do something at some point. But I said, before we figure out where we're going, I want us to figure out where we're going. Uh, and of course, by that I mean, yeah, you gotta have a strategy, you gotta have a plan, and in the context of that, you'll have a pretty good sense of, you know, what kind of facility you want, both in terms of the size of it and the nature of the the kind of amenities and infrastructure you need. And so we basically spent the the, the summer in early fall of 2012 putting together a great plan. Felt we had a really good plan started implementing the plan, and we now have come out with uh, uh, three major new products in the last four months, uh, one for each of our major operating divisions. So we have unfurled uh, the core of the plan, let's say. Uh, and so in that context, moving, and we moved in uh, uh, just around Labor Day, uh, ended up being a great time because just as we're bringing these new products to market, just as we're sort of redefining and reinventing ourselves, uh, we're able to do it uh, from a new home and a new vantage point. So the timing worked out great, uh, but to me, the move was not the be-all and end-all. It was part of an overall uh, plan to revitalize the company and to uh, now we're in a place and location that is you know very energetic as you'll see we walk around uh, it, the, the energy of the place is terrific and, and uh, I'm delighted that we're here uh, but uh, if we didn't have a great strategy we didn't have great products uh, you know you could be you know in the most beautiful building in the world you could be in the Taj Mahal or or whatever and it wouldn't make any difference uh, but having a great plan and having great products uh, uh, a really strong team that I'm super proud of I'm really happy we're here uh, so this is a good good sort of representative view of the, the way we've got the open plan set up. Uh, so one of the things that's great about this is, as you see, uh, all the open plan areas have great views. In this case, we've got a beautiful view of, uh, of, the, of the sound right here. Uh, and uh, the desks, which I think I'll, I'll have someone show you downstairs, we've we got, we got brand new, uh, 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 brand new cube desks where everyone can set their own height. And a surprising number of people have chosen to work standing up. Uh, I, it, we, 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 when we got them, I thought it was a great feature and then we'd have like, you know, 5% of people use it, but probably like a quarter of the people on, this, on staff are actually using the stand-up feature, at least for some part of their work week. So this, is four or five. this is 4 and or 5, so what's, exactly. What's largely on the this is print, mostly the real player group. Are you divided by business units? Uh, we are, yeah, so the sixth floor is our games group and uh, uh, the cafeteria and the like. This floor is the, is the role player group, and the floor below has our mobile entertainment team that's in Seattle and also our, our most of our finance, and legal, and HR folks. Yeah, this whole floor here is pretty much dedicated to the role player cloud product we just launched. We have our mobile client teams over here. We do work on iOS and Android, PC over here. We have a cloud team, which has built our sure play transcoding engines, cloud engines, where we upload all that content and make sure it plays back everywhere. Uh, so we're all here working together. So how's the launch going? Launch has been great. Uh, the reviews were great. The product's great. We're getting great feedback from users. And we're, we're releasing things all the time to make sure it's great and being improved all the time. 
nice spot. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. So Rob, tell me, what has it been like coming back? You've been in the interim role as CEO now of, of Real Networks for a year and a half or so. Uh, what's it been like coming back into the fold as, as CEO of the company? Uh, actually, I would say it's been more fun than I expected from a few standpoints. Uh, one is, after having been uh, away for uh, two and a half years, I really, you know, uh, an opportunity to sort of step back and think about where the world's going, got involved in about a dozen startups, some great uh, 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 opportunities to sort of learn about the future from people that are inventing it, uh, the guys that excel who invested in real and are still friends, they asked me to get involved with them, so I invested in four or five companies with them and went to, became a venture partner there, so I'd sit in on partner meetings uh, every month or, uh, or so to kind of sort of see the panorama of what was going on, so bringing all that uh, perspective, let's say, and maybe knowledge back to, to real has been more fun than I thought uh, because it's, uh, you, you kind of, you get a chance to take a fresh look at something. Again, it can be really um, energizing, I guess I would say. And, uh, you know, the team came back, came back and the team really had a, a a interest in a thirst for doing new stuff. So it came back and said, hey, what about this? What about that? I found things to be, people to be really receptive. And so I would say I've had as much fun the last year and a half as any year and a half period I can remember in the company. So much fun that you're just going to stick around full time or are you still looking for that uh, CEO? Well, I would differentiate between uh, the full-time question and the, uh, the 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 question of duration. I mean, it, I've been doing it full-time, so it's you know, it's a you can't do a job like this in sort of halfway. You either got to do it or not. In terms of how long, uh, basically, we we're all taking approaches. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So we're working really hard at revitalizing the company, building new products, getting them out in the market, driving their adoption, and we figure we'll take everything from there. So there's uh, people like you, you ask the question from time to time, which I understand, but you know we're, we're happy with how we're doing things now, and it's uh, you know there's no there didn't aren't see any reason to sort of change uh, change the labels or anything, just keep doing what we're doing. So right. how do you like so, the new digs? Uh, this is an amazing, amazing space, I think. Um, it's re-energized the company and, and it re-energized actually the employee base. You know, we had, a, we had an office that with uh, primarily most of our employees being in offices and now we've moved them all out, as you can see. This is legal right here, um, all out in the open area. And I think, you know, at first there was some trepidation, but everyone has just really turned the tide and just said, this is the best thing that's happened. Right. So, yeah. Cool. So what is that box over there? Is that just... Uh is there an old mailbox? Why, why do you have a mailbox in the uh, offices? You know, so, so people can actually uh, put their mail in here and we'll bring it down to the post office. That seems very odd for an internet company uh, to have a physical mailbox in the office. Okay, and it is lime green, so... It is lime green. Yes. We, we painted it to make sure it matched. <laughs> and it actually, you can drop your mail off. Okay. Very, and it's right here by the mailroom, appropriately enough. Oh, actually, this is the mobile entertainment team. Okay. So, you know, mobile entertainment is located both in Seattle, Reston, Virginia, New York, and mm -hmm. so, and Austria. So it's a very global business with a big uh, international footprint. So would this include the Listen.com, yeah. Listen business as part of this then? Yeah, Listen was the major new announcement that this team just made the product announcement last week, and that product's being built actually in a distributed way. Uh, some of the teams here, some of the teams in Seoul, Korea, uh, we just acquired a company called Music Call that... Right. Uh, is ba based in Europe, and uh, they they played an important role, and especially as we're that'll be our first uh, uh, market uh, that will be in market in the UK uh, just in a couple weeks here now. So this is um, we have another uh, business team here. This is the Helix development team. Um, Helix is one of our B two B business and enterprise business that we've had, and you know the company was founded on. Now from the server business was our initial revenue business, and we still have a have a, a, a great uh, core group of customers there, and uh, the team is both here and in uh, China. We're at the end of the building, and this is our IT uh, IT team, help desk, and what what have you. Um, you know, facing the south end of Seattle. And this, uh, this is yet another yet another you get that, uh, that uh, you know we had a train view in the last building, and there were people that wanted to still have a train track view, so we were able to fulfill that need right here. So this isn't a bad uh, spot, is it? No, I, 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 I didn't. I don't want to say I didn't put my, my feet on the scale too hard. This was uh, the, the team said, "Hey, do you want this view?" And I said, "Well, if you insist, I'll take it." We sort of have old screens and new. So this is a you know typical flat panel, and this is an old um, uh, mutoscope uh, with, uh, from a Babe Ruth team that's from the old Nickelodeons. Uh, so, so what's this again? Well, if, I, I didn't plug it in, so I won't, I won't show you now. But you 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 know those old Nickelodeons where you where you turn and you crank yeah. them, and this is a little video of Babe Ruth hitting a home run. Um, and it's cost real moving pictures. So we, uh, we I wouldn't say we didn't, we didn't get our name from it, but uh, we certainly got some of our inspiration from it. And uh, so it's uh, just uh, sitting here to uh, 
remind us of the, the history of uh, motion video going back, uh, this is, you know, almost 100 years. Very cool. So what, what is this for? It was an Emmy for streaming. Uh, we, got, we were given an Emmy uh, about six years ago for being one of the uh, uh, inventors of internet streaming. And uh, it was a proud moment. Uh, yeah, we wasn't, it wasn't, it's the, they had the technical Emmys and then they have the, uh, uh, the, the main TV show. And we were part of the technical Emmys, which was an award ceremony in Las Vegas, I think during CES that year. So I think it was CES 2006. And uh, so I was very proud. And uh, uh, I presently am the custodian for this. I think when we get a display case set up, maybe we'll move it out there. But uh, for now, I'm uh, happy to uh, you know, thank the Academy. <laughs>